ever pondered why your plants suddenly seem to be struggling despite your best efforts? The answer could lie in an unexpected adversary, the green fly. These tiny insects, barely visible to the naked eye, thrive in gardens and green spaces, feasting on your precious plants. From egg to adult, their life cycle is remarkably swift, allowing them to multiply at an astonishing rate. And though they might appear inconsequential, these minuscule marauders can wreak havoc on your horticultural haven. Greenflies might be small, but they can cause significant problems. Imagine a tiny creature causing havoc in your garden you've painstakingly nurtured. Greenflies, these miniature marauders, feast on plant sap, robbing your garden of its vitality. They're more than just sap suckers, though. They're also carriers of plant diseases. Quite the double whammy for your green space. The aftermath, stunted growth, discolored leaves and a diminished garden filled with sickly plants. So you see, it's not just about the size. A small green fly can indeed cast a large shadow over your garden's health. Now picture yourself armed with knowledge and ready to battle these invaders. Green flies can be controlled using both chemical and natural methods. Chemical sprays are a quick fix but for a more eco-friendly approach, consider introducing their natural predators like ladybugs and lacewings into your garden. The key is regular checks for early detection. Remember, these pests multiply quickly, so swift action is essential. With determination and a keen eye, you can protect your garden from these tiny marauders. A determined gardener can indeed keep the green invaders at bay. It's time to summarize what we've learned about these tiny garden invaders. The green fly, a seemingly insignificant pest, can have a major impact on our gardens. They feed on plant juices, causing damage and potentially spreading disease. But fear not, there are several control methods, from natural predators to homemade sprays, that can help us keep these pests at bay. If you've had your own battles with green flies, We'd love to hear your stories and tips. Remember, knowledge is the first step in turning your garden into a no-fly zone for green flies.